Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to sell a stock on Robinhood. So let's say you have a stock, for example, like Ford here, Ford Motors, and you want to sell it. So what you have to do is go to the sell Ford option. You can do this on mobile or on your PC, whichever one is easier for you. And they both work in the same way. So you can sell shares just like you can buy shares. You could sell one share of Ford for 11.39 and it just depends how many shares you have in total you see here I have 9.21055 shares available so that's the amount I can sell so when you sell in shares you could sell an entire share one you could sell half a share or you can even sell 0 0.01 of a share but yeah, that's selling in shares. And when you review order and then you sell it, you'll be selling it at the market price. So you see how the market price is $11.38. You click on that, boom, review order, and it will sell it at $11.38, right? So we have other options to sell the stock in. So we could sell it in dollars. So let's say you only wanna sell, I have $104 available of the stock let's say you only want to sell fifty dollars worth of it you do the fifty dollars and then review order and boom then you sell it it's always going to be a review to make sure you actually want to do that right so let's go back to shares so here we have order types market order like i was saying earlier it'll sell it at the market price so the market price right now is eleven dollars and thirty eight cents but if you sell it and then the market price goes to eleven dollars and thirty seven cents that's what it will sell at right so the market price is the fastest so if you want to sell your stock as fast as possible market price right uh, then we have the limit order here where you could actually set what price point you want to sell it at right now ford is around eleven dollars and forty cents as you can see let's say you want to do okay if it touches eleven dollars and forty cents boom i want to sell it at that right or let's say you want to sell it at eleven dollars and forty five cents you think it might go up five cents more you put it good for a day or you could put a good till cancel which after 90 days if it doesn't sell it then it'll cancel it normally for limit orders you could I like to do good for a day uh i don't do the 90 day stuff um just because i i don't feel like it and another good thing with limit orders so let's go back to the example 1145 with a limit order it's great as well if you want to sell let's say all your shares or some shares or whatever and you put it for the 90 days so you know you might forget about it and you still want to sell at this price Ford or any other company might go up to what your limit price is and then they'll sell, which is a good thing as well. So, you you know, whatever you want to do in that regard, then we have the stop loss order, right? So this is when you don't want to lose money on a stock. So you want to sell it and but you don't want to be getting on the app all the time or getting on the website or Robinhood. So let's say you don't want the stock to you don't want to own it if Ford goes to eleven dollars and twenty cents or, or less. So you want to sell it at eleven dollars and twenty cents. I have nine point something shares. to so say I want to sell my nine shares, right? So you could do good for a day, uh, just for the day, or you could do the same thing for ninety days. So normally for stop, um, the stop loss order is good for like ninety days. Like this is like a better option, right? But uh, just because after the one day once the market closed this stop loss order it, it, it just they take it off now we have the stop limit order right so with the stop limit order this is how it works so it's a little different so you have a stop price let's go back to our price of eleven dollars and twenty cents stop price once it hits that stop price then it will sell it at the limit price. Let's say your limit price is $11.18. So once it touches this, boom, it will try its best to sell it at $11.18. And the same thing, good for the day or good till cancel. Same thing. Now we have the trailing stop order, which a lot of people use. Same thing, good for the day or good till cancel, 90 days. This one, I believe, is the easiest one. One of the better ones to use, really. Let's say, okay, I only want to lose 5%. I don't want to lose more than 5%. Boom, 5%. And then they'll sell all your shares. I don't want to lose more than 10%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%.
boom, 10%. If it goes below that, boom, it'll sell your shares. That's it. So that's it for how to sell a stock on Robinhood. Hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe.